forgot my foot switch. Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. I've got my WGA TR2000 headset, and I'm going to show you how I set up the mic gain and compression on the ICOM 7610. This will apply to the 7300 also. Okay, here we are over at the radio. And I'll have an article on my website. Go to www.k0pir.us, and I'll have the information of where this is found in the manual. But the first thing we want to do is uh, turn off the compression, and I'm in a, a transmitting into a dummy load right now. And uh, let's see, I got my mic gain at 5%, and I'm looking at my ALC level. Talking in a normal voice, they say to have the ALC level between 30 and 50% of the scale. So I've got the meter up here, and you can see the ALC, this red bar. And uh, talking in a normal voice, it doesn't peak over 50%. So if I say, ah, uh, that's about 30%. So that's, that's real good. It sounds good. I've tested this on the air. This TR2000 is a hot mic, so they tell you to put it really close to the mouth, and I have it uh, probably about two inches away from my mouth. I usually have a microphone uh, two to four inches away from my mouth, and then adjust the mic gain accordingly. Okay, let's take a look at the compression now. After you get the ALC set using the mic gain, I'm going to go over here and hold in the compression and my level is set to three right now. It's turned off, and you can tell the difference when I turn it on. Okay, there it is. And uh, you can definitely tell the difference. It gives it a little bit more punch. So even at three, oops, hold that down. Even at three, level three, it gives it a pretty good punch. And in the manual it says to get the compression between 10 and 20 dB. And uh, that's an awful lot. Uh, for me to get it uh, any uh, any registering at all on the compression scale, I really have to crank it up, and that doesn't sound good to me. So I typically use uh, very little compression. And I think that sounds good. I usually leave it on. These uh, poor band conditions, this gives me a little extra punch uh, to get through the noise and the poor conditions. So you notice I have it on wide. That's the transmit bandwidth. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. Go to menu, set, tone control, single sideband, and my transmit bandwidth for wide is 200 to 2900 hertz. My transmit bandwidth for mid is 300 to 2700. Now I use these two quite a bit and they work really well. I hardly ever, if ever, use the narrow. It just doesn't sound very good to me. And you'll notice that I have the treble set to plus four and the bass set to minus two, and I might be using just a little bit too much treble in, uh, for this microphone. But let's, let's try to adjust it, and we'll see, uh, see if you can tell the difference. I'm going to turn it down to a negative three, and I, I can definitely tell the difference in the microphone. And I want to, uh, I, I do want to emphasize the highs. Uh, that just gets through the noise. And it's good, uh, good communication grade audio to have uh, the highs emphasized. And uh, the bass, I think, is probably set pretty good. So uh, I had it at four. And let me go back to that. Because I've got a sample recording on my website, and uh, that's, that's what I had it set for, and I was, I was using the wide transmit bandwidth. So uh, visit my website, www.k0pir.us, and you'll see uh, the audio recording there, and I recorded it using an SDR in Utah. So a, a good way to hear what your audio sounds like is to go to a SDR online and uh, uh, transmit uh, you know, if you're in a net or something or in a situation where you're communicating with somebody, you can hear what your audio sounds like through an SDR. Or if you have somebody that can record your audio and then send it to you in a file, uh, that works great too. So there you go. That about does it.
set your audio up so uh, people compliment you on it and it sounds good and uh, you'll have a more enjoyable time. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX. Thank <laughs> you.